Happy Monday, my friends. I'm so glad that you're here and I'm so excited for tonight's call. It's going to be so good. I promise you're going to leave fired up. It's going to be so good. Um, we were at Gold School in Dallas over the weekend. Okay, hold on. Thought we were on Do Not Disturb and now we're not. Um, <clears throat> Gold School in Dallas over the weekend. Gold School, what it is, is it's an elite training that has to be earned. So it's not just for anybody to go. It is for someone who has earned it. So how do you earn Gold School? Let's just go ahead and talk about that. That way you know for the next one, because there is another one coming in March of 2025. And that's all we know. March of 2025. And we know it's in Arizona. So go ahead and just like circle March in your calendar, put a big old gold star, gold sticker, March of 2025, because you're going to want to be there. And I promise after you hear from everybody tonight, it's, you're going to knock down walls to be at gold school. <clears throat> How do you earn gold school? It's very simple. You either a go gold yourself. If you've never gone gold, you B go senior gold. If you are already gold, or you help a level one go gold. What is gold? Gold is helping 17 to 20 people start these products. And it doesn't have to be 17 to 20 that you help. It could be you help four friends and then they all help four friends. Or you help six, two of them help four. So I'm going to screw up this math. But like it can be a mixture of people helping people as long as you have a total group of 17 to 20 ish. So that is gold. And that is so powerful. And it's a lot of lives, a lot of lives being impacted, which is so fun. Um, the next one is in March of 2025. Um, and the one thing I'm going to share this one thing that I just want you to keep in mind, and then I'm going to let everybody else go. And then I'm going to go last that way I can uh, figure out what, after everyone takes all my things what I'm going to be able to say. But the one thing that was mentioned is this investment that Plexus puts back into the people, the investment that Plexus spent, the people that they flew out, the things that they shipped out. They gave us gifts and swag. They brought leaders in from Plexus to train us and they gave them gifts. They gave away a whole bunch of gifts. They have formed this training. They have spent the time um, and we came, all came home with a book Hey, Dill, will you bring my gold school book over here, please? Um, it's a book. If somebody has it, hold it up. Um, they, they invest. Yes, there is the book. Mike has the book. Um, they invest so much in us for going gold. And that is exclusive in the network marketing industry to Plexus. Other companies do not do this sort of training at this type of level. It is exclusive in the network marketing industry to Plexus. So what we got was like top of the line <clears throat> for businesses in momentum and leaders growing up. So I just want you to keep that in mind. I'm going to toss it over to Micah. Micah, you get, let me, hold on. Let me see where Taylor's at. Cause she might have to share and hop off. She's like doing weird things. Taylor, can you yet? Taylor. Are you there? Should I let Micah go? Do you want to go? How is it going over there? You there? You're talking to me. I'm talking to you. Do you want to go? Do you need to go? And... Yeah. No, I can go. I just can't get my video to work. Okay. Oh, there you... There's part of me. Okay. I'm sorry. Did you have a specific question that you asked that I did not hear? Nope. Just share your biggest aha moment from the weekend. Okay, my biggest aha moment. Every excuse that I have found as to why I can't grow my business literally got like thrown out the window this weekend. And I talked to several people, including Diamonds, and it was like the cows in the park were pretty great. But it was like, I went to a diamond who spoke at convention and then she spoke a little bit this weekend. And I was like, I just, I just need to find somebody who is exactly like me and tell me exactly what I need to do. And she's like, why do you like, why do you need that? And I was like, 
it's so hard for me to meet people at my job because the people that I meet in my job aren't exactly the people that like I want to hang out with on the daily and go on vacation with. And I was like, I am really, really struggling. And she was like, okay, but are you doing social media? And I was like, well, yeah. And she's like, no, you're not. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, um, how many social media friends do you have that you haven't met in person that you don't specifically know, but you actually talk to from other places? And I was like, zero, zilch, nada. And she was like, that's no longer an excuse. You get to now meet all of those people that you would have never met because you have a job. You have to go out and meet people in a different way. And I was like, oh, okay. She's like, so your excuse isn't even an excuse. So I need you to come up with a different excuse. And I was like, okay. Um, well, I work weird hours. And she's like, great. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's like an Instagram group or a Facebook group with people who work weird hours and they would love to meet you. And I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, so what's your other excuse? Like, find me another one. I was like, um, I'm boring. And she's like, oh, perfect. There's other people who are boring too. I bet you you can find a group for that. And I was like, okay, never mind. Um, I have no excuses. And she's like, great. So um, I will see you on the boat and we'll talk about how you don't have excuses anymore and how you overcame them. And so I'll see you on the boat. And I was like, yeah. I'll see you there. And she's like, great. I'll see you there. And I was like, oh my God, I just told a diamond that I'm going to be on a boat that I don't even. Okay. I'm going to be on a boat guys. Cause I made a promise to a diamond. So, and I believe her name, her name is Amber and I can't ever remember her last name. Yes. Okay. So, um, yes, Amber Miller. And she is like, do, 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 do. And I was like, okay, mm-hmm. yep. I'll see you on the boat. And it was just like every, literally every excuse that I can come up with, she has something that literally like kicks it over the ledge and dumps it out of the wheelbarrow. So that was my biggest thing, I think. I love it. That's so good. I feel like we could all go on for a whole hour ourselves. Just keep on talking to you. That's so good, Tay. All right, Micah. All right. Welcome to my TED Talk. Just kidding. Um, Okay. I have two things. I narrowed it down from 400. So one is connecting with people like they're human beings. They were like kind of going on about like, here's the system. Yeah, we all know how to do it. Here's the whatever. But it's like, okay. But like, I'm not a robot and they don't want to hear that. So listen with your ears and stop sending messages and just listen and sometimes they're just gonna say no and it's okay and that was the other thing is like no's are like a good thing because you can't have yeses without no's so there's that and two that I didn't really learn this at gold school because I learned this right before I went gold that it's much easier to get points um, with the team instead of trying to find new people out of the woodworks. Um, and then they showed all these graphics and I'm like, oh, look, that's not as many people as 900 level ones. And the level ones are, I filled out all these little webs today and I had like four pages and they all were just level ones. And I'm like, okay, how are we going to make some changes here? So my goal is to just go build the team and stop trying to search for new people and following up with those people that a long time ago when I was really bad at this said, you're weird, please don't contact me ever again. Then I'm gonna go back and say, hey, I'm sorry I was weird and don't take it personal, but I'm better now and I would love to talk. So those are my goals. I love it. I'm so proud of you. All right, Lacey, take it away. Well, I also have 400 things. So you're actually not going to probably get my top thing because I have 
a lot of notes and a lot of scrolling and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things. But um, once you decide that you want to do this, you need to treat it as a business and you are the owner. So if I really, 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 really love a restaurant, but you're only open randomly, I'm never going to refer a friend to go eat at your restaurant because I don't even know if you're going to be open or not. You might have the best brisket in the state of Texas or in the lower 48, but if you're only open randomly, I'm never going to go and I'm never going to send a friend. So be very, very, very consistent. That does not mean being over the top. It means consistent, like on the meme where it's like the glass is full, the glass is almost empty, the glass is three quarters full, the glass is half full, the glass is all the way full, the glass is completely empty, and now there's only three drops over here and then it's all the way full. Just be consistent. And don't go to Terry Black's after 9 p.m., but do go so you can get extra green beans and peach cobbler. Anyways, on that note, also this is an acronym that I feel like I probably heard this before and maybe I wasn't uh, ready to hear it. I don't really know. I like feel like every training I go to, I'm like, how do they know that I needed to hear this today? Like, but bacon, in order for your business to be successful you follow the bacon an acronym and i love an acronyms so bacon b is belief a is action c is commitment o is one plexus and n is never give up there's a lot to go on those tangents but i'm going to spare you me talking till 35 to thrive so the other thing is learning to get uncomfortable and i feel like my uncomfortable is not the same as your guys' uncomfortable because I could tell you every single thing about every single ingredient and every single product that we have and why you need it and how it's going to work in your body and how to navigate all the things. You want to know what I don't like talking about or even looking at? It's a compensation plan. I don't care. I'm going to share with you and I don't know how I'm getting paid for seven years. It's really great. I really love making thousands of dollars every month and having no freaking idea how I'm getting paid. It's just how it is. And that's the truth. Lexi knows somebody wants to talk to me about the compensation plan and I'm going to be like, give me a hot minute. I got to, I got to, I got to call somebody. But essentially in a very um, broken down nutshell, our compensation plan is like a buffet. And there are lots of things on a buffet, right? Appetizers, salads, the entree, the desserts, the drinks, all the silverware that um, I learned how to use because of Plexus, because we don't have those kind of meals otherwise. But if you're only eating appetizers, you're leaving so much money on the table. Like go for the entree. The entree is like the big, huge meat, like the brisket. So delish. Anyhow, all of your main income that you think is coming from your level ones, twos, and threes is actually not where you're getting your income from. It's from your five, sixes, and sevens. And that is your entree. And if you're only going for the appetizers, for your friends who are only ordering one month, one welcome pack, one combo, thousands of dollars are waiting for you. When you get to the entree and then you get to have as many desserts as you want. That's so good. The money buffet was mine. I did not expect for that to be your biggest takeaway. Mrs. Don't talk about the conversation plate. Yes, Micah. <laughs> I have another one. I have three actually. Um, Make your new VIP silver in the first really fast and then they all will stay. All right, Jody. That's what yeah. we're doing. That's what we're doing with Jody right now. I love it. Yes, that's what one of the diamonds said is her biggest retention strategy. Biggest retention strategy is silver month one. Every single person. And I just thought that that really fit kind of perfectly with our whole system series with a perfect little bow. And asking people to post 
and having them send the messages and doing all the things. Um, that's so good. So my, I also had a little bit about the money buffet and what I thought was really, really powerful just to like tangent on like over on the dessert side, or maybe it's the napkins on the end. There are different things that Plexus like sticks onto our compensation plan that they don't have to, that is not actually there. Things like cups, things like skylight calendars, things like iPads. And those things are so fun to also get on the buffet. Like, hello, I'm definitely like motivated by those things. And some people are truly motivated by the carrots and the prizes. But does a cup or an iPad change your life? I mean, maybe it might make you a little happier, but it's not truly changing your life. Does a cruise change your life? I mean, I'm sure it's going to create some great memories, but truly a cruise does not change your life. Even though I'm so glad that it's on our buffet, that's not what changes your life. But the way that Plexus has it set up is to build your business, to squeeze in a little bit more belief over time by pulling from all of these different parts. And the ultimate goal is to increase your long-term income. And increasing your long-term income means you can buy as many cups as you want, as many iPads as you want, and you can book your own cruise for your whole family. I, I the One of the biggest overarching things that I got from Gold School is to think bigger. To think so much bigger. Like this is about a cruise. We are all working to be on that cruise. We're almost to the halfway point of the contest and there is still so much time. There's time to earn it and there's still time to sweep it no matter where your credits are at. I promise you. There will be, will be people who come in yet in October and sweep the contest. There will be people on this call who sweep the contest, mark my words. And that is so fun. But along the way, what you're doing in order to get to the cruise is building that legacy impact for your family, which is so much bigger than the cruise that will be over in February. It's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun there. Um, the other like little piece, I think I also have two more, I'm really sorry. So one of the quotes in our book, this book is like, I don't even know if you can like, it's like chock full and I took a lot of notes, lots of scribbly notes. So you're gonna be hearing lots more about gold school. I feel like we need to do like a post series about it because there is so much meat in it. But one of the quotes that's printed in the book says, everything changes when you take full responsibility. Everything changes when you take full responsibility. And then she like added on and I like put a little arrow. <clears throat> everything changes when you take full responsibility, especially for the things that you are unwilling to do. So whatever it is you're avoiding whatever it is for you. And it might be different for all of us on this call, but whatever you are avoiding, the hardest part that you're like, oh, yeah, but I'm just going to skip that part. I'm just going to plug my ears when Lazy tells me to send the new messages because that makes my brain spin. It makes me sweat. Whatever it is, whatever the hard part is, taking full responsibility, especially for the thing that you're unwilling to do, that's when everything changes. So then the tangent to that was, what do you want this to be? And we've asked this question many, 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 many times. I know all of you have been asked many, many times. What do you want this to be? But to take it a step further. Hi, Tim. Welcome to the party. Welcome to Monday night. He's like, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Is why have you not quit? Why are you not quitting? Why are you here on Monday night? Why haven't you quit yet? And I was like, that perspective shift is so powerful. Why aren't you quitting? Because it would be real easy to just like, hands off, not get on a Monday again. Just not see any more posts and success starts with you. Just not respond to any messages from your leader. Just not. So why haven't you quit yet? And use that to fuel you. Um, my last little thing was this really silly story that Alec told us that's called hooky bobbing. Does anybody know what hooky bobbing is? I didn't. It sounded like the wildest thing. I was like, what in the world is he about to tell us about hooky bobbing? Evidently, it was a thing. 
<clears throat> where when he was young, he had two pairs of shoes. He had tennis shoes and he had church shoes. And the church shoes they would take to school and they would wax up the bottoms. And then they would go on this wild ride. Bye, Jody and Tim. Thanks for being here. Have a good night. <laughs> um, they would wax up the bottom of their church shoes. And then somebody would drive a car and they would hold on to the bumper and their shoes would be slick on the ice. And so they would like hold on and then they let go and they like fly uncontrollably on their church shoes because they're waxed up and slick. And it's like this wild ride. And he's like, it's the most exhilarating feeling ever and so much fun. <clears throat> and he tied that back to bring your church shoes, wax them up now, get to waxing because we are about to go on the ride. I have goosebumps. We are about to go on the ride of our lives in 2025. New products, new programs, new countries, so much coming in 2025. So wax up your church shoes, make sure they're good and slippery because <laughs> we're going for the ride of our lives. You get to come get waxed. It's going to be a little scary, but you know what? We can all hold hands and then it'll be better. And then I guess if one, <laughs> we'll just all pile up and have one big happy circle. Those are my things. Does anybody have any questions, any other tidbits to add? If not, I have a segue. It was so good. You want to be at gold school. I want you to think bigger for March of 2025. I want you to be at gold school, but I want you to work the next, however many months that is through the end of the year, through the cruise, through December, all you have to work is through the end of the year. You just work the end of the year thinking about and keeping at the forefront. Who are you taking to gold school in March? You're going like it's a non-negotiable. Who are you bringing to gold school with you? in March. That's the energy I want you to work from, to think bigger. <clears throat> then the second half of gold school is what Plexus calls the winning day. And I could show it to you, but you can also log into your board and you're going to see the same thing. We just call it 35 to thrive. So we spent part of gold school walking through I don't know if you can see it. The winning day. It says it right there. The winning day. We call winning day 35 to thrive. And it was so powerful. And I guess they can tell me if I'm absolutely off base on this. But I think it was so powerful when they said, we're going to do this 35 to thrive. And we walked through every single step. We got some fresh ideas that Lacey's going to share with us next. But it was so powerful to see our side of the table was like, okay, we're going to do this 35 to thrive. Okay. We're going to start by sowing seeds for later. We're going to like uh post on social media of our non-plexus friends. Okay. We're going to move on to the next step and walk through 35 to thrive. What plexus calls the winning day. <clears throat> and for Micah and Taylor have never, never having attended a gold school, I feel like had a pretty good handle on it. Like they were like, okay, we get it. Like it makes sense. We've been doing this every Monday night for how long? And we know this like the back of our hand. The other side of our table, by contrast, did not. They were very confused. They seemed a little lost. Look at how proud he is of you. Um, oh, Oreo. Um, They were confused. They were like, we have to do this every single day. All of these things. Like, this is how this works. You have to do all of these steps. Like they, like the mumbles under their breath, they were so confused. Yes, 35 to thrive in winning day helps you get to gold 100% consistently. And that the girl, I mean, it was wild to watch the girls on the other side of our table. They were so just unsure. And I want you to be encouraged by that because you are doing the right things. Like what we were trained on is what we do every Monday night. You are ahead of the game. You have the tools. We are here to help you. And I'm so glad that you're here. So that is the winning day. That's what we're going to do next. The winning day, 35 to thrive, whatever you want to call it. If you like calling it the winning day, call it the winning day. It's 35 to thrive in the board that you have on your telephone. <clears throat> and then the last thing I'm going to share, because we've gone a little bit over time, um, is I'm going to challenge you over the next 10 days. We have 10 days left of October, 10 days to go to hit whatever October goal you had, which is still so much time. I was thinking the end of the month was this week, 
but we still have 10 days. So we're going to do a 10 for 10 challenge in the success squad chat. <clears throat> and it's going to be real simple and real easy. It's going to be send 10 messages every day for the next 10 days. Send 10 messages. And it is going to be completely up to you how you choose to use this challenge. If you want to send easy messages and message your current VIPs already, you can do that. If you want to send hard messages and really move the needle and bring some people in by the end of the month, then you get to choose if you're going to send 10 hard messages. I'm not going to check in on your messages that you're sending. If you think it counts as a message, then you count it as one of your 10 messages. But send 10 messages for the next 10 days to finish out October strong, the 10th month. How cute. Who drop a one in the chat if you accept the challenge. 10 for 10. 10 messages. 10 days. Can you do it? Can you do it for 10 days? What if you only had to do it for 10 days? You think you could do 10 days? We're just gonna have that in the chat. You just check in when you send your 10 messages. You get to count your messages. If you want it to count, if you don't want it to count, it's your call. Send easy messages, send hard, mess hard messages. You get to pick. And now I'm going to hand it on over and let Lacey walk us through a little work sesh. And you could knock out 10 messages right now. 